Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2020 live musical, Dr. Seuss's The Grinch Musical. Uh, so, this is a televised version of the musical play based on Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas that came out last year on NBC, and uh, I didn't watch it last year, I was planning on it, and I just never got around to it. I decided to go ahead and watch it this year as part of the, the Grinch stuff that I've been watching and reviewing all this month, and thought I'd go ahead and watch it and do my review for it, so... The play pretty much follows the exact same story as all the other versions of the Grinch where the Grinch hates Christmas and he wants to steal it from, uh, steal all the presents and destroy them from the, uh, who's of Whoville and everything and ends up learning his lesson by the end of it about Christmas not coming from a store and, uh, he goes back and redeems himself. That, that's pretty much the story of the Grinch. You know it if you've if you've seen one version. You know the story. I mean, it, it just there isn't really anything new brought to the table with this version, except that there's singing every five seconds. Um, but I thought this one was okay. I'm not a big fan of these live musical things. I, I like musicals a lot, but I prefer like like movie musicals I'm not as I like some Broadway stuff and everything so some of them I thought were alright and everything but I'm just not really into these live musicals that they've been doing for these past few years most of them I think are just okay um, but they none of them have really stood out to me this one I thought is, is kind of uh, just a mixed bag for me like like it starts out really good and then it slows down in the middle and everything because they have to fill in time and everything to make this work as a, a two-hour stage production and everything and uh, then it picks back up a little bit towards the end of it but like there's a whole middle section where uh, just talks about the Grinch's backstory and Max being miserable and what it was like being a pup raised by the Grinch and stuff like that that they didn't really add anything to the story um, they didn't do a whole lot of his back the Grinch's backstory in here but they they show a little bit like like how he he just doesn't like Christmas and stuff and he, he's tired of dealing with it and he, he he's just minky and stuff and they, they like show him going to Whoville he's dressed up as a cowboy and acts really really silly but um, I feel like some of the songs were pretty decent in here especially at the beginning of it and everything but a lot of the songs especially in the middle that were kind of just filler in there to be filler and stuff were not not all that great um, and everything none of them really stuck out stood out to me I didn't really recognize most of the songs except for of course the the Welcome Christmas, which is, I think that's the name of the song that's from all the other versions of the Grinch that you've heard, the Fahu Fori, Dahu Dori song. Uh, it's in the animated special from the 60s, and it's in both the 2000 and 2018 version, so it's nothing new for, for the story. And they also include Where Are You Christmas from the 2000 version is, is put into the the play too and I felt like it's placing was it worked and everything but it just it's kind of weird they have it have it where the the who's are singing it uh, the morning they wake up and they realize that the Grinch stole all their stuff and everything it's just it's kind of weird but um, this play is kind of weird and <laughs> the, the it's colorful though, I will say that. It has a lot of really nice colors and stuff and the costumes look pretty cool. And the makeup and stuff on the Who's look pretty good too. And, and I, even the Grinch doesn't look that bad. I mean, he you can tell that it's a smaller budget on his costume and stuff, but seeing that it's a play and stuff, I can overlook it and it doesn't really bother me that bad. I think, I mean, compared to some 
play costumes and stuff in other costumes I've seen of people as the Grinch. I think it actually looks pretty decent. Um, and I will say that uh, Matthew Morrison, who plays the Grinch, does a pretty good job. He, I, he was pretty good in, in the role and everything. And then you got Dennis O'Hare as Old Max and Boo Boo Stewart as Young Max. And I think they're both good, although it's kind of weird having both young and old Max in here and like there's a lot of parts when they're singing and stuff that are singing together and it just it's, it's weird um but the, the play is pretty weird and kind of trippy and stuff but it's okay um like I said it it was worth watching at least maybe as a one time watch I probably won't want to watch it again anytime soon if ever it just there wasn't anything about it that stood out compared to other versions of the story and I think out of all the versions I've seen of this story this is probably my least favorite but uh, it was okay like I said it's just one of those one-time watch type of things it's not something I would really want to rush out and buy on DVD if, if it even is on DVD or just something I'd want to watch every single year like the other versions of the Grinch that I do watch every year this isn't going to be one that I want to revisit anytime soon if ever like I said it just it's okay so I'd say I'd give give it a a 5 out of 10 I, I liked like I said I like some of the songs I think the cast were all really good though and the singing was really good like even the songs I didn't like I think all of them had really good singing voices and they did a good job with that and you could tell that the actors and stuff are really good at doing theatrical productions and stuff and like the, the little set designs and stuff for the play works really good um, just not not one of my favorites I, I do like some plays and stuff like this like but this one I thought was all right it, I think they stretched it out a little too long I think if they would have made it as a 45 minute play and everything and cut out some of the stuff in the middle it would have worked a lot better um, but all in all I think it's all right and everything it's probably my least favorite thing out of the Grinch stuff that I've reviewed but it, it's it's tolerable if that makes sense but anyway let me know in the comments what you think of the Dr. Seuss's The Grinch musical from la that was released last year and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody